Hi there, it's Wukas for the Tech Travel Geeks, and I'm really excited for today's unboxing. Granted, it's a bit large for a travel item, but let's see, shall we? I recently moved home, and my old gaming chair was falling apart and peeling off, so it didn't move with me. So for two weeks, I've actually been using a tiny patio stool, and it was a nightmare. At one point, I ended up having to use multiple pillows, but I still had a really bad backache. Finally, however, my dream desk chair got delivered, the Hermann Miller X Logitech G Embody Gaming Chair. But before I talk about it more, let's get it unboxed. The box itself is huge, as the chair comes pre-assembled. I decided to unbox it downstairs to not have to drag the entire box, so I did it in my future game and music room. I might do a future unboxing of the Arcade 1UP game cabinet, I can't wait to set it up soon. The unboxing experience of the chair was fantastic. It was enough to cut the tape on one side and at the top. Open one side, the top, the other side and the bottom. And we're there. Now to remove some boxes which kept it steady and some plastic wrap which kept it safe. Let's move the giant box out of the way for now. Have I mentioned it weighs over 10 kilos or 23 pounds? I might keep it though. It looks like a perfect cardboard castle for when my friends with kids visit me. There's also a box at the bottom to keep the legs safe. We don't need that either. Yes, that's my happy face. Loving it so far. But let's finish this and remove all the plastic wrapping from the legs and the sides. There are also some instructions with some nice dark themed printouts. As well as some sort of a poster. And the certificate of authenticity. It's clearly a premium product. Alright, let's try it out, shall we? Yes, it feels great. Let me just sit here and rotate for a while. Hope you don't mind. And let me just say, the back of this chair looks even better in person than it does online. It has a futuristic vibe, looking like an exoskeleton from some science fiction movie. Actually, it reminds me of the suit from Dead Space, a survival horror game from 2008. It just looks quite amazing if you ask me. The materials are really premium as well. The polyester fabric looks and feels great and should retain color. The light blue elements add nice contrast and appeal, and the foam on the seat feels really great as well. Definitely a 5 out of 5 for build and design from me. Ok, let's go upstairs, get rid of the old chair, and move in with the new one instead. Much better. I will have to adjust everything and learn how the knobs work on this one though. As is the standard for Hermann Miller, this one has plenty of adjustments. In the case of this chair, it's more than half a dozen different adjustments you can make to feel more comfortable. The most basic one is chair height, which is controlled by a joystick on the right. To start with, I was actually having issues with it, not sure why. I had to flip it over and try to move it, and it only started working after a few tries. However, it was only difficult for the first time. No problems at all after that, it works great now. To sit comfortably, I had to significantly lower my desk by around 10 cm or 4 inches, as both my legs should be at 90 degree angle, and the same with my arms. Luckily, my desk is from IKEA, so it was possible to move it down accordingly. You can also move the chair arms up and down, and also move them slightly to the sides. There are three positions for that. Unfortunately, there is no easy way to remove the arms unless you try to unscrew them entirely. It's something I've been considering since I play the guitar and arms make it much more difficult for me to play. However, it looks like moving all the way back with the arms in the bottom position works fine for me. I'm able to sit comfortably and enjoy some shredding sessions or a guitar lesson with no problems. I also make sure that I adjust the seat depth accordingly. This can be done by extending the seat depth or by pulling it back in using those two handles on the sides. 
When playing the guitar, I prefer all the way in. But when I'm working or editing videos, I prefer it pulled out for a bit more comfort. Another adjustment is the back feet adjustment, which changes the curvature of the chair. It is one of the key features of the Embody and gaming chairs by Herman Miller, so it's definitely worth experimenting with, whether you prefer it to be more curved or more flat. There are two more adjustments when it comes to the back. One of them is tilt tension, which adjusts how resistant the chair will be when you lean back. You can adjust it using the knob on the side. I personally prefer it to be a bit on the loose side, but it's up to you to decide how you want it. You can also adjust the tilt limiter, which decides how far the chair will recline using the handle on the left. There are four settings, from almost no tilt, if you don't want to recline, up to I'd say around 45 degrees. Don't expect PewDiePie's, but can it do this flatness, but I'd say it's very flexible nonetheless. I still haven't decided which one is best for me, but it's great that I have all the choices. At the time of writing, I've been using the chair for a couple of weeks, and I've really been enjoying it. The chair is really comfortable and it brings the best of class features of office chairs to the world of gaming thanks to this collaboration between Herman Miller and Logitech. It's actually not my first time with a Herman Miller chair though. I've used them for around 12 years at my day job where I was lucky to have the Iron chair, which is the golden standard for office chairs. It also had similar adjustments and it's super comfortable. And right now, I'm able to have the same comfort and customization with the additional looks of a gaming chair, and I couldn't be happier. The chair uses a number of unique technologies like the aforementioned adjustments or the cooling foam on the chair, which should help when it gets hot in your room. Interestingly, there's no support for either a lumbar pillow or a headrest, because according to the manufacturer, it's not needed thanks to how well the chair keeps your back and neck in place. But is it worth the asking price of $1500? I actually managed to get a 15% discount on the purchase, so it was a bit less painful for me, but it's still an expensive purchase. I was, however, thinking about it as an investment, as the chair comes with a 12 year warranty and is basically designed to last a lifetime. Let's hope that's the case for me. So for now, I'm really happy with the purchase and I'm loving both the looks, flexibility and the comfort of this chair. So if you want to buy a stylish and long lasting gaming chair and don't mind investing a bit more than in a typical gaming chair, it might be a great option for you. That's it for this video. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks to see more videos from us. But for now, thanks for watching.